Which ingredient makes pizza the most pizza? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Today is about pizza, not smoothies, but just bear with me. I make the same smoothie every morning without fail, but sometimes I do fail to put everything in it. I get distracted, I leave something out. It's usually the frozen blueberries, and it turns out that frozen blueberries are pretty important. Mm. They make my smoothie cold and purple instead mm. of warm and barf color. Okay, yeah. What I'm saying is frozen blueberries, I think are the most important ingredient in making my smoothie my smoothie. Okay, I think I follow. You ever done that with pizza? I don't like blueberries on pizza. What about dessert? Good point. Well, today we are gonna do that with pizza. It's time for, oh, pizza, my love, where do I start? Is it your crust or your cheese that cements a place in my heart? Well, what is the most indispensable ingredient in a pizza? Well, we're gonna find out by trying four versions of pizza, each one missing a key ingredient, but to determine which ingredient does the most to make pizza pizza, we have to find out which versions are the most forgettable. Yeah, so after we taste each weird version of an almost pizza, yeah. we're gonna be ranking the missing ingredients behind us from most important ingredient to least important. So least important, boy, pie. Not really pie type. Pie think I'm in like with you, and pie will always love you. Like, like the Dolly Parton song. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like how this one has you don't, you don't an, an explanation. Like boy bye. Well, we are middle-aged men. <laughs> it's like sometimes, <laughs> wanted to go ahead and sometimes tell we do need the explanation. All right, whichever ingredient comes out on top will be named the MVE, the most valuable element in pizza. But first, we have to sample some good old-fashioned, unadulterated pizza. We just we, have yeah, to. Yeah, I mean, you know, we can't not eat real pizza. Now this pizza, homemade by Nicole. Thank you, Nicole. Um, this is my spec specifications here. Yeah, this is I my like specification. Nice sausage, and you like a bigger what? piece than you. <laughs> yeah. I like pepperoni, uh, black olives, and mushrooms. Of course, it's got everything on it. Mm -hmm. Just eating pizza, realizing how great it is I when mean, it's all there. It really works when it all comes together like yeah. this. Yeah. So let's take it apart and get weird with it. Okay. All right, we've got our first experimental pizza here, and our sauce over here. No sauce here, because it's, all, it's a, all over here. A jar. None <laughs> of it's left here and entered here. Right. So let's try this sauceless pizza. Now I gotta say, this looks good. It yeah. looks like pizza. You might think it's just a normal pizza. I'm very self-conscious of the way I say pizza because I'm saying it so much, and I'm putting a T in it. You know, you're saying it, a double Z has a T sound. Oh good, so what, I'm is, right. You want it to be, Pizza? I don't know, something about saying it so much, I'm like. If you said pizza, I wouldn't be your friend. Pizza. Pizza. I yeah. mean, in. And double it, Z has a T sound. In Italy, that's how it works, right? It's a T sound. Okay, two bites into this. No, I might no one not here is Italian. I might not even think that I was eating a different kind of pizza, just to be honest. You know, I don't, I don't have a super sensitive palate. I just kind of just eat. I'm like a bulldozer just going to a job site. We're like, we gotta tear this building down. That's how I think about my food. It's kind of like a cheesy bread with like meat on top. A flatbread. And yeah, flatbread. The other thing is, et. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, we can et it. The other kind of early in the episode hey, we've never, or something hey, like that. It took 20 seasons for us to finally touch no, fingers no, like we, this. We, we've done, we've it done before. this. We've done it before. I forgot. It was special. There's other kinds of pizzas, like sometimes people will put pesto, yes. barbecue sauce, yes. ranch. That tells you that it's it's malleable. And, and, it's, and what if it just disappeared? Yeah. I You know, I think we're learning. Sauce is not that important. If it were really important, it would go over here. And if it were not, it would go on this grease stain. So let's hold out hope that something else might be worse or better or n less important. Less important, really, is what I, we're going for. I would have thought this was one or two, but we're already at three. I was on I was on three or four. I'm on this surprised, one. and I do like this. Oh, sorry. Um, here we here we have pizza without cheese. And this here is, we have cheese. This is gonna suck, y'all. I mean, I, I'm just well. Hold on. What are I'm you a, saying? It looks great. It looks like a normal pizza. You don't have to dab it because it doesn't have a lot of the grease. You're a dabber. We've had a lot of pizza together, and, yeah. you, and especially if we happen to be in New York. Man, I want to go back to New York. It's been so long. Oh, just to dab pizza. But 
I like the the grease is just part of it for me, but you like you go three, four napkins deep sometimes. So this right here might be right up my alley. Maybe maybe I'm lactose intolerant for other reasons. But also, how well do the toppings hold? I mean, that's pretty good, uh, Nicole. You did. Uh, I don't. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I, that was extreme, right? I guess. A little bit extra. I I just don't know how to look at it. It's like I need to look away. Do you know how to say it? Pizza. Pizza. <laughs> Pizza. Yeah. Pizza. Pizza. It's nice to know that you've been saying something right this whole time. You know, to realize for years you've been saying something wrong. Well, you know how you've got friends and they there's like one or two words that they all say wrong? Like every friend has one or two words they say wrong. Like we had a friend that said frustrated for a long time. Yeah, and we until like, he wasn't I, our friend anymore. And we were like, is flustered or frustrated? But frustrated is not a word. It's a smart dude. Always said frustrated. It frustrated me a lot, but I never said anything about it. If you had a friend who said pizza, <laughs> every single time you had pizza with I mean, with I think I would have thought he knew something I did. <laughs> well, I mean, he must be saying it right. It is a double Z. There's no T. This is not bad, my friend. I don't like it at all. Because I know what it could be. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is coming from a man that likes cat food. It's sauce bread. I mean, it's coming from a man who doesn't like tomatoes, but tomato sauce is different, and I don't want you to try to convince me otherwise because don't do that to me. It tastes like a, but it's, it's not like a breadstick dipped in marinara, which again is not a bad thing, which I will enjoy on occasion. It doesn't but not look when right. Pizza to be enjoyed. So we're gonna take this cheesy, and it's more important than the sauce easily. Yeah. It may be number one, but we're just gonna Boy, leave it plop down at. I really like to just grab a cylinder. I think of I'm like like that. I'm like. With you, what? I think I'm in like with you. This is why I don't read these. Yeah, right. Okay, before we try our next bastardized version of pizza, we want to remind you that tickets for Good Mythical Evening are on sale now. Ooh, what is that? If you ever wanted to see what a live and uncensored version of a Good Mythical Morning would look like, anything can happen, then you don't want to miss it. It's happening on October 28th. Tickets are on sale now at goodmythicalevening.com. Only buy a ticket if, you, if you're ready for it. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to buy a ticket for it. Yes, I will. Well, no, I'm not. I'm just going to be there. Just be there. Yeah. Do I have to buy a ticket? Uh, I think technically. What uh, is this? What is this here? In front well, of you? we've got a pizza without toppings because all the toppings are here. And I just, I don't even know where to start, honestly. Yeah. It's like. What is that? What is happening here? Is I mean, it, is this I a five year old's birthday party? I, I hate kids. I don't and, know. Uh, and I really hate kids' birthday parties. And, and and kids who just eat cheese pizza, don't even talk to me. Hold on. What? You're you're right. This this is the most is, popular form of pizza. I think this is this is just cheese pizza. <laughs> oh! See, my body won't even accept it. <laughs> right. Like it's, it's like my it's hands so are like, fun. no, we do not take this. Like, We're not children. You re you reject. Here, here's another piece, man. Hmm. Okay. This is kind of like little Dinos. Remember little Dinos would have the big. The big uh, bubbles? Yeah, I do. Dink it, sink it. it. Takes me back. There's crust, there's sauce, there's cheese. I mean, this is still, this is fundamentally pizza. This is cheese pizza. As m oh, really? Yes. As much as I like <laughs> toppings, and I think that they make a pizza a pizza, I don't really believe that they are the most important ingredient, or, these, these are the least important I think they're the least important ingredient. Easily the least important We're gonna go out ingredient. on a limb here and say, I think this is still pizza. And it tastes good, and the cheese is good, the sauce is good, the bread is good, you're gonna have a good time. And sometimes when I've, when I've been eating pizza with toppings, then I feel like I can go over to the kids' cheese pizza and eat that and it doesn't count. Less guilt. I love it. Yeah. And finally, pizza without dough, crust, you know the crust is just dough that's been cooked. Uh, True. This, this is the most visually puzzling, concerning uh, one so far. Well, think about it as like a pizza uncrustable, but like oh, they should do that completely. Should they do that? I it think would we just need... be a packet of cheese. It would be this, be this in a plastic bag. I mean, we need to taste it. It's like gogurt. Can I get a? Oh, there's. Look at what. There's still there's the way that Nicole did it. There's. There's still sauce underneath. The sauce it. is still underneath, but it's just you on gotta, the... You sort of got to pinch it a little bit. Oh, you're doing a, you're doing a pinch? So now Is I there just, a reason it's still cold? Um, I just wanted the cheese to be able to be picked up. 
by you guys. I didn't want it to be too messy. Well, I appreciate that, Nicole. You're welcome. I mean, I don't... You're having a lot of trouble over there. I'm afraid <laughs> I'm going to bite a finger. This is a clear evidence that you have never done exactly what's happening right now, and I have regularly done this. You talk about You've going made over, one of these? You talk about going over to the cheese pizza to feel less guilt about eating more pizza? Mm-hmm. I just go to the pizza and just grab the toppings and just eat the toppings. Like, if we get down to a couple of pieces of pizza no one else wants anymore, I'm a topping grabber. I'm living that keto life every once that. in a while, right at the end, <laughs> right at the end of a pizza binging session. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I'm I can going, be a little bit keto right now. Yeah, it's nice to get back into your, your meal plan while still eating pizza. Yeah. I get it. So, but it's kind of like that magic trick where you, you pull the... the cool, see if you can do the that. The table apron. What's pull. that called? The table apron out from under the stuff. A yeah, tablecloth? Pull, 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 pull it real Tablecloth. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> see that? It's surprisingly got nowhere. It kind of it kinda worked. Uh, Morgan was impressed. Now, because this is a little bit cold, it's hanging around with newborns lately, though. It's easier to impress him. Um, yeah, right. Because this is a right? little bit cold. Look what a full human can do. <laughs> this is not, this isn't indicative of what, like, again, I, I usually am just taking hot sauce and cheese off of the top, and it's an enjoyable experience. This is not the same thing for me, but I'm, but I'm not going to hold the temperature against it. Clearly, if if you serve this to somebody, out of all these things that we've that we've that we've served up, this is the one thing that people would be most disappointed in. And you could also go as far as to say, well, if there's no crust there, it's not a pizza by definition from a structural standpoint. But you know what? I thought I was going to be a structural engineer, and I took that class, and I was like, this is boring. I don't want to do it. So I don't care about structure. I care about taste. This is fun. I yeah. think I'll add that. You know, it gives you permission to just go with what you want the most. Yeah, so, I mean, if unless you have any opposition to this, I feel like because it is it is important and it does make a pizza a pizza in a lot of ways, it's at least number two. Right? All right, so then we're moving... Here, we gotta really get in sync here. We can, you, oh, you're do, saying... Do you feel what I'm saying? I, I Okay, that... Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. I that's mean, a bold move. There's nothing basic about that choice. Right, and I mean, the lactose intolerant people maybe have a problem. And I used to think that I was lactose intolerant, but I right. wasn't. I was mistaken. Right. We all have our cross to bear. Yeah. But let's not bear other people's. I'm good with that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> listen, I'm sorry, y'all, putting your vegan cheese and your other things on pizza and calling it pizza. Because again, You're remember- missing the most important ingredient. Remember this. You, you think this doesn't look like a pizza? Well, it looks more like a pizza than this, Yeah, I, I think. You gotta have cheese. <laughs> I think, too. You gotta have cheese to I'm have a pizza. Certain. There you have it, the definitive list. The most valuable ingredient, is that what we're calling it? Yeah, the MVE, MVE I, baby. Most valuable element. Uh, you, ingredient by the knee. I can spell ingredient with an E. Yes. Is cheese. Pie will always love you. There, definitively, we figured it out today. Way to go, You're cheese. You're welcome. You're the champ again. Let us know in the comments how stupid that you think you were before we schooled you. Ha! <laughs> Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Joe. And I'm Asia. And this is Silas. And we just spent our first night in our new house. And, and it's, it's time, time to spin, spin the, the Wheel, wheel of, of Mythicality. mythicality. Congratulations. Little Silas. Click the top link to watch us compete in a blind pepperoni taste test in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Will of Mythicality is going to land. Tickets on sale now for Good Mythical Evening, the live mature audiences only event happening on October 28th. Get yours at goodmythicalevening.com.